Abstract writing is a mental exercise that necessitates a basic understanding of the subject. It takes talent and expertise to bring out the key aspects of an author's argument. As a result, a significant amount of competent staff that could be put to better use elsewhere must be devoted to the task of facilitating information access. A noticeable groove divides the brain into its hemispheres. Nerve fibers run along the bottom of this, allowing these two sides of the brain to communicate with one another. However, the left hemisphere is in charge of movement and feeling on the right side of the body, whereas the right hemisphere is in charge of the left. Our main goal is to help you build knowledge, attitudes, and abilities that will help you engage in constructive collaboration, cooperation, and teamwork with others in the future. To succeed, the process necessitates a real exercise in civic duty on the part of all of us. Scholars create their own personal libraries to assist both specific projects and general reading in their fields. When possible, 
they acquire or photocopy resources so that they can consult them regularly, mark pages, and annotate them. They add to their collections when they enter a new field, frequently focusing on primary texts. Undergraduates have the option of majoring in one of 125 academic fields. Internationally renowned scientists, authors, and teachers make up the university's elite faculty, all of whom are dedicated to upholding the university's reputation of providing one of the best undergraduate educations available. Vanilla's distinct aroma is second only to chocolate in popularity among the world's palates. After saffron, it's also the most costly spice. However, because of the plant's labor-intensive growing methods and temperamental life cycle and propagation, global output is struggling to keep up with rising demand. Presentation skills are important to both universities and workplaces. Presentation skills are important to both universities and workplaces. Newspapers across the world are reporting stories of presidents. Newspapers across the world are reporting stories of presidents. Everyone should get access to art galleries no matter where they live. Everyone should get access to art galleries no matter where they live. She is an expert of the 18th century French literature. She is an expert of the 18th century French literature.
please register your student email account at your earliest convenience. Please register your student email account at your earliest convenience. I could not save my work as my computer got crashed. I could not save my work as my computer got crashed. And it's hard to take out the pollutants. And it's hard to take out the pollutants. I was young and inexperienced and going too fast in wet weather. I was young and inexperienced and going too fast in wet weather. Basketball was created in 1891 by a physician and a physical instructor. Basketball was created in 1891 by a physician and a physical instructor. Making a profit and protecting the environment needn't be separate aims. Making a profit and protecting the environment needn't be separate aims. The study of archaeology requires intensive international fieldwork. The study of archaeology requires intensive international fieldwork. Information regarding the graduation laboratory is shown in the graph below. On the map, data from various regions are shown. Toilets and storage are located at the center. Animal sciences are located on the left. The greatest area, according to this graph, is plant sciences. Office is the smallest area in comparison. In conclusion, a meeting room and computer station are indicated on the map.
The globe temperature mean map is shown in the graph below. On the map, data from various regions are shown. The equator is where the annual mean temperature is highest, according to this graph. The Arctic and Antarctic are home to the regions with the lowest annual mean temperatures. This graph shows that the ideal temperature range is between 60 and 70 degrees north latitude. This graph is really informative, to sum it up. The distribution of grapes to consumers is depicted in the following graph. The graph shows that the first phase involves purple grapes maturing on the vine, and the second involves packing the grapes into a truck and transporting them. The grapes are then transported on a conveyor belt in the third phase after which they are packaged in a brown paper box in the fourth stage. The grapes are loaded into a cart as the last stage, indicating that they have reached the customers. This graph is really informative, to sum it up. The view of a street in the fog is depicted in the following graph. This picture is incredibly lovely and depicts a variety of topics. According to this graph, there are three bicycles in the center with women riding the front. They are all black in color. This graph demonstrates that there is a substantial amount of white fog, which is blanketing many people and streetlights, behind the bicycles. This graph demonstrates that there are four white, straight dashed lines on the road surface in the graph's background. It's cloudy outside. Sky color is gray. In conclusion, this image is incredibly educational. Frequency and quality of social interactions are key factors in happiness. The happier people are when they interact with friends, family, and other people, the higher the frequency. It is unclear why happiness and social relationships are associated. There is evidence, however, that happier people are more content with their social relationships, which leads to happier people being more satisfied with their social relationships. People that are content tend to interact with friends and family more frequently. Some people ponder whether their social interactions make them happier or whether their upbeat personality motivate them to interact with their loved ones more frequently.
many items that you wouldn't expect to contain sugar do. There is obviously a lot of sugar in donuts, ice cream, pastries, and other sweet foods, including sweets, but there are other areas where you could find it without really expecting it. Using peanut butter as an illustration. The second most frequent item in this list of ingredients for Skippy peanut butter is sugar. In order for you to understand from reading food labels that these ingredients are included in any food labels according to how much is actually in the product, sugar is mentioned right after peanuts. Another example is beef stew. You might not expect to find sugar in beef stew, but you will. Even though it's near the bottom of the ingredient list, the marketing for this dish claims that it contains fresh potatoes and carrots, but in fact there is more sugar in it than there are carrots. Therefore, you wouldn't expect to discover this to be the case if you ate something like beef stew. What is the opposite word of stale? What is the opposite word of stale? What does submediterranean refer to? What does submediterranean refer to? What is the place you share bedroom with your classmates? What is the place you share bedroom with your classmates? What do we call programs that run on a computer? What do we call programs that run on a computer? In what room do scientists usually do experiments? In what room do scientists usually do experiments?
So various conclusions. Yes, bees are in decline. These declines are well documented. They are real and supported by good, strong scientific evidence, which is the only of these counts. The drivers of decline on many vary depending on species. The effects of pollinator loss could be absolutely huge. So is it a catastrophe? Not yet. But it could be. On the positive side, we are aware of the problem. Awareness is being raised all the time and people are taking actions. Before fixing is missing, you can recognize the problem. At least it's been done. Globalization is an overused and often misunderstood concept. We hear it all the time on news broadcasts and in any type of public discussion. But the starting point for understanding globalization is that it is industries and markets that globalize, not countries. That's why it's helpful to think of globalization as the integration of economic activities across borders. But why does globalization matter? I would argue globalization matters because it means the rise of interconnectedness between countries and markets across the world. For example, one of the reasons why the financial crash of 2007-2008 was so serious was because the financial and banking systems of countries around the world have become so closely interconnected with the globalization of markets. It now seems likely that the earliest printing presses were, in fact, simply the common screw presses used for crushing oil seeds and herbs, or even for doing more domestic chores such as pressing fabrics, adapted for printing, other large wooden presses, such as those used for crushing the juice from olives and grapes, known as bean presses, had been around for centuries, but proved to be unsuitable for printing due to their size and their necessarily heavy pressure. Most presses of this type work on the simple principle of direct vertical pressure, controlled by a central screw at the lower end of which was attached a flat board, what later became known as a platen. We know that many of these earliest printing presses were still in regular use in the 17th century, and the basic design remained almost unchanged until the 19th century, when they were replaced with iron presses.
Certainly in Europe and the West we tend to think of bread as the staple food in our diet, as many proverbs and sayings, such as bread is the staff of life attest. Yet, for the majority of the world's population the most important staple food is not wheat but rice, which is the seed of a different type of grass. The earliest evidence we have of rice being cultivated dates back to 8,000 years ago, when rice grains of that period were discovered in a village in China. By around 6,000 years ago, the cultivation of both long grain and short grain rice had become well established in China and had just got going in India. The word rice itself, however, is derived from the Aramaic arusa and came to us by way of Greek and Arabic. In fact, it was the Arabs who introduced rice to their Spanish territories in the 7th century, but it didn't spread to the rest of Europe until much later when, in the 15th century, Spaniards began to cultivate their own short grain variety at Pisa in Italy. Well in 2004 we integrated ticketing in southeast Queensland, so we have introduced a paper ticket that allowed you to travel across all the three modes in southeast Queensland, so bus, train and ferry and the second stage of integrated ticketing is the introduction of a smart card, and the smart card will enable people to store value so to put value on the card, and then to use the card for traveling around the system. A majority of U.S. high school students say they get bored in class every day, and more than one out of five has considered dropping out, according to a survey released on Wednesday. The survey of 81,000 students in 26 states found two-thirds of high school students complain of boredom, usually because the subject matter was irrelevant or their teachers didn't seem to care about them. You've heard about SARS, AIDS, and bird flu. Now researchers from Australia claim we're about to be hit by a new epidemic, motivational deficiency disorder. According to the British Medical Journal, one in five people are said to suffer from motivational deficiency disorder, or MOTID, and most don't even know they have it. Symptoms include being unable to get out of bed in the morning, being trapped on the couch.
Don't expect Pamela Anderson to be using her fame to endorse Uber or any other app-based ride-hailing service anytime soon. The former Baywatch beauty is out with a new public service announcement, PSA, called The Driving Game. That slams the ride-hailing industry. As an homage to the classic TV game show, The Dating Game, Anderson plays a passenger grilling three male contestants vying to drive her home, and, given the slew of Uber and Lyft drivers who've been accused of rape, murder, and other crimes across the country, you can understand why the two identified only as ride hail app drivers come off as something akin to dates from hell. The video is part of the Ride Responsibly campaign launched last year by the non-profit National Limousine Association, NLA, with whom the National Sexual Violence Resource Center teamed up for the PSA, that seeks to overcome the Ubers of the world's resistance to subjecting their drivers to the same rigorous criminal background checks as those behind the wheels of taxis and limos. That includes spending the extra money to fingerprint their drivers, says NLA President Gary Buffo. We all know when the trick-or-treaters head home with their Halloween candy and the turkey comas set in after Thanksgiving dinner, the holiday season is right around the corner. Meant to be the happiest time of the year filled with joyous memories, the holiday season can quickly turn into an unwanted shopping nightmare as you try to find the perfect holiday gift for everyone special in your life. Between graduations, school dances, and family vacations, picture-perfect memories are always ready to be made and we all know that mum is the go-to photographer for that special occasion. So make sure the mother in your life has everything she needs to take great photos with the Vivitar VXX14 selfie camera. When using this camera, mum can take crystal clear pictures in superior high definition. Get up close with 4X digital zoom so mum can catch every unforgettable moment. The 180-degree screen rotation on this fun and easy-to-use camera allows you to see the shot before you snap the picture, guaranteeing the perfect selfie with every use. And with the included self-timer, mum can get in on a family photo every time. In 2015 alone, the ethanol industry created and supported more than 350,000 jobs. Ethanol also contributed nearly $44 billion to the U.S. gross domestic product GDP, a number exceeding the total GDP of many countries. And the production of 14.7 billion gallons of ethanol means that the U.S. needed to import 527 million fewer barrels of crude oil to meet the country's demand for gasoline. New technologies are helping make earth-friendly American ethanol even more sustainable. Energen Corn Enzyme technology, available only from Syngenta, is an in-seed innovation and the industry's only corn designed specifically to enhance ethanol production. By incorporating grain from Energen Corn hybrids into its existing production process, an ethanol plant can reduce the viscosity of its corn mash from a consistency of oatmeal to lemonade, enhancing production efficiency and decreasing costs.
Coming up with clever holiday gifts is always a challenge, especially for someone who has everything. However, ways to get creative include gifts that provide experiences, not just things to accumulate. Think of enjoying a craft beer or wine of the month, flying a drone or model plane, shushing down the slopes on a customized snowboard, or playing a classic arcade game. You're never too old to play, and even hard-working adults need an excuse to discover their inner child now and then. With that in mind, think games when making your holiday gift list. The word science comes from a Latin verb. Meaning to know science is a way of knowing. It emerges from our curiosity about ourselves and our world. Striving to understand is one of our basic drives who are scientists. Scientists are people who ask questions about nature and who believe that these questions can be answered. Scientists are explorers who are passionate about underscore 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 underscore. In some ways, mental development is related to social development. In school age, children between the ages of 6 and 12 children move from being able to think only on a concrete level. That is about real objects they can touch to being capable of abstract thought in their social development. Children gradually acquire interpersonal reasoning skills. They learn to understand the feelings of other people and also learned that a person's actions or words don't always reflect their underscore 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 underscore. Honeybees do a waggle dance to direct other bees to sources to nectar. But dancing bees like this one can be halted by a head butt from another bee. Now researchers have found that this head butt is actually a warning signal. A feeding station was set up up in the lab to mimic a source of nectar. Then foraging bees were introduced to the dangers at the station, such as competition from rival colonies. When foragers returned to the hive, they stopped bees dancing. Scientists think the behavior warns dancers of a dangerous source of nectar. Honeybees do a waggle dance to direct other bees to sources to nectar. But dancing bees like this one can be halted by a head butt from another bee. Now researchers have found that this head butt is actually a warning signal. A feeding station was set up up in the lab to mimic a source of nectar. Then foraging bees were introduced to the dangers at the station, such as competition from rival colonies. When foragers returned to the hive, they stopped bees dancing. Scientists think the behavior warns dancers of a dangerous source of nectar.
The basis of all life on earth is the cell. All creatures on earth are made of cells. I am not gonna dwell on the biology of cells and much it is not that relevant. But I do want to point out a few things. First of all, there are two sorts of cells. As we think all the prokaryotic cell, which is fairly simple and it is the thing that all bacteria are made of. And then we have a eukaryotic cell, much more complicated beasts on the right, which did not appear until well into the history of the biosphere on Earth. And there are many single-celled eukaryotes. But there are also an importantly multicellular organisms and all of those are based on the eukaryotic cell. The basis of all life on Earth is the cell. All creatures on Earth are made of cells. I am not gonna dwell on the biology of cells and much it is not that relevant. But I do want to point out a few things. First of all, there are two sorts of cells. As we think all the prokaryotic cell, which is fairly simple and it is the thing that all bacteria are made of. And then we have a eukaryotic cell, much more complicated beasts on the right which did not appear until well into the history of the biosphere on Earth. And there are many single-celled eukaryotes. But there are also an importantly multicellular organisms and all of those are based on the eukaryotic cell. New media journalism is an exciting area of study. New media journalism is an exciting area of study. Radio is a popular form of entertainment throughout the world. Radio is a popular form of entertainment throughout the world. Library reference desks hold a lot of materials on academic history. Library reference desks hold a lot of materials on academic history. Speak to your tutor if you need further assistance. Speak to your tutor if you need further assistance. If you like our video kindly subscribe our channel and also press the low bell icon. Thank you.